Hi guys, welcome back. So, guess who decided to bust out their ColourPop Mar palette finally? I have had this palette for a hot little minute, you guys. And I mean a hot little minute. When it came out and I saw it, I was like, oh, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta have it. I mean, we all know why I had to have it, why I had to get it, right? Yeah, it's clear to see, y'all know, the whole pop of blue. <laughs> I mean, this palette looks like a beach in a palette. Mountains, sand, ocean, just beautifulness in a palette, okay? It looks like a vacation in a palette. So, yes, when it came out, I had to have it. I didn't get the Soul, I think it is, the one with the orangey, goldish colors. I didn't get that one. This was the one that spoke to me, so I got it. Clearly, it wasn't speaking that loud because, like I said, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so, this is what I'm using today, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous very pretty I'm hoping that this is what it looks like up close you guys I'm hoping that it will translate on my eyes as nicely as it does in this palette so let me go ahead and do some swatches before we jump into this look and see what's happening okay didn't swatch too bad she swatched pretty nicely actually those are some really really pretty colors now <laughs> now I kind of am like eh, I just did a blue look with the melt stack of course you guys know so I'm kind of like I think I'm really really gonna go in with these like teal shades maybe I'll add the darker blue on my lower lash line not sure exactly but I like it I like it. It's very, very pretty. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre to go ahead and prep my lids and then we'll get started. Now I think to moisturize my face though before I prep my lids, I want to use this e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I haven't been using this and I want to use it because I've really fallen in love with the Olay Mist, but I want to use this as a hydration for my skin today. Now this stuff smells like coconut. <laughs> so if you don't like coconut, you won't like this. It feels really, really good. It nicely hydrates your face. And I like coconut, so it smells good to me. Now if you guys hear my dogs barking and cutting up in the background, don't mind them, just ignore them. That's them trying to protect me against all the neighbors, the mailman, Jehovah's Witness, anybody in the neighborhood that is not a threat my dogs will fully protect me from okay <laughs> so <laughs> that is who they are actually barking at okay i always feel conflicted when i set my eyelids like i'm not a real beauty youtuber because you know the ones that really get down with the looks they really just coat their whole lids in you know primer or paint pot or something like that or concealer <laughs> and really go in like I just put enough on there so that I know you know my eyeshadows will stick it's never neat never perfect is there though okay so let's go ahead do I want to use tape today you guys uh nah I'm not gonna use tape today I think what I'm going to do I mean there's not that many options in this palette but there's enough so I think I'm going to take this shade here since that looks to be the lightest matte yeah, I'm going to take this because that's a that's a shimmer. Yeah, I'm going to take this shade here and I'm going to use that on the upper portion of my lid and try and buff it out. Hopefully it's not too dark. And there's a lot of kick up in this pan. And apparently a lot of dust in the air <laughs> when you use it. Okay, so it has a bit of a peachy tone to it actually. Looks a little bit peachy tan to me. Feels nice and soft though. Nice and soft and easy to blend. Okay, so of course the obvious next choice for me is going to be this dark brown. I'm going to use that in my crease area. There's not that many options with this palette. There's only those 
actually those two matte shades. So the two mattes that I'm using are the only two matte shades in this palette. I'm so used to doing the pat and blend method that it's kind of hard for me to get used to the tap, tap and blend method, which works out a lot nicer. I'm just not used to doing it. So most of the time when I first go in, I'm automatically <laughs> trying to blend. So I'm still getting used to the whole tap and blend method, but it works out very nicely. And I just wanted to kind of fade into the inner corner. I don't want it to be too heavy, not as heavy as the outer corner. You would think some of these one and two shade eyeshadow looks that you just have to throw on the shadow and blend it out would be so easy, but sometimes they're the hardest ones to get symmetric <laughs> because you're trying to get that perfect blend on both sides and it just never works out. Okay, now I'm not doing a cut crease, but you guys know I'm about to slide some of this blue on my lid. So let's go ahead and I want to start out with this really pretty light teal type shade here. So I'm going to start out with that and I am going to spray my brush. I'm going to try it first without spraying my brush and see how that goes. So it's okay. Not really what I'm looking for. So let me go ahead and try it with a wet brush. This is definitely a shade that you can spray your brush and lay it down and then kind of go in and layer the color on top of it once it's a little bit wet already. And I'm sure you guys are noticing I'm leaving a space on the inner corner because I do want to use one of those other like gold shimmery type shades to see how that looks as well. So next, of course, I'm going to go in with this gorgeous turquoise shade here and place that next to the light one. That's pretty. Y'all see how it looks like the shadow is skipping on my lid? That's because my lid is wrinkled, okay? <laughs> it's not the shadow's fault, it's my lid's fault. And I always just kind of go back and forth between the shadows just to try and blend them out and get an even, just an even gradient across my lid. So that's what I'm doing, just going back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so now let's go ahead and jump into this darker blue here. Let's see what she talking about, okay? See what she talking about. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty. What y'all think? Y'all like that blue? Ain't she pretty? Yeah, she is pretty. I like that. Okay. okay. I just decided I'm not putting any of that gold in the inner. I'm just going to leave that light blue. So I'm going to clean that up a bit for that light, this seafoam blue. Okay, you guys, I am super duper impressed with how this blue is showing up on my lids. It is very, very pretty and very pigmented. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do some gel eyeliner. I'm gonna use my Pretty Vulgar Eyeliner. I haven't used this eyeliner in quite a while. I think I used this so much when I first got it in my BoxyCharm that I kinda got sick of it, you know, and I love to use my Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm gonna go back to this today and hopefully I don't make a mess of this beautiful look. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have my eyeliner done, 
it took me a while to do my eyeliner because after I don't use something for a long time like I haven't used that gel eyeliner it used to be so easy for me to just swipe on and keep it pushing but for some reason it just gave me the blues today no pun intended so I'm gonna go ahead and do my complexion off camera and I will come back and we'll finish up these eyes now I just wanted to pop back in right quick while I'm doing my complexion because the foundation and concealer and powder doesn't excite me so on a rare occasion in a chit chat get ready with me I will go ahead and go through my whole face but for the most part it's like that's not the fun part to me <laughs> so a lot of times I'll just cut it out but if you are ever curious as far as what I do use on my face I will have it listed below in the description box for you guys but let me know in the comments if you guys do want me to do my complexion and stuff whenever I do my eye looks because I will if you want me to but if not I'm not gonna waste your time or mine on this boring stuff okay <laughs> so that's it I'll be right back okay so I went ahead finished all of my foundation concealer powder all that good stuff so I'm gonna go in with some of my Olay mist ultimate hydration essence and this is the energizing spritz and I just like to spray that on to kind of pull everything together on my face after I put all that powder on oh that feels good <laughs> that feels good okay so I wanted to come back before I actually did my highlight and everything because I'm going to be using this Ofra highlighter from Nikki Tutorials and this one is in Everglow and I got this in my Allure box I actually canceled them but they still sending me the box <laughs> so I actually got this it's like a triplet highlighter type situation but I really like it a lot so it's all good I think since I'm doing a blue look instead of going into the warm ones I'm going to go into this icy highlighter right here and hopefully it doesn't look too crazy I might mix these two together actually so it won't be too too bright Ooh, okay <laughs> when I first put my highlighter on I do like to pat it on just so I can see exactly how bright and how bold it's gonna be when I place it on my face but and I do like to do a finishing powder after I do my highlighter so it kind of tones it down a bit but that's a very pretty highlighter it is bright though. And I just want to put just a bit on my brow bone. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. I want to take this pretty dark blue shade here and place some of that on my lower lash line. And you know what you guys, I'm just now realizing that this dark blue is a matte shade. I don't know why I thought it was a shimmer, but it's actually a matte. Maybe because I'm so used to pops of blue being shimmers <laughs> in a palette. So yeah, I definitely thought it was a shimmer, but it's actually a matte. Okay, and so let's go in with this pretty aqua blue and place that on the inner portion of my lower lash line that's so pretty I think I'm going to go back into this Ofra highlighter and I want to use this as my inner corner highlight just to really brighten it up a bit Yep, that did it. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take just a little bit of my Milani Blackout or Stay Put Black Eyeliner. Not a lot though. I'm trying not to make it too dark because I do want that blue to stay blue. I don't want it to turn black. And so for mascara, I'm going to use my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Curve Alert Mascara today. Yep, 
you guys I swear somebody is coming into my bedroom every night and cutting my eyelashes because <laughs> they just seem like they're getting shorter and shorter and shorter do your eyelashes get shorter with old age I wonder because they are just like non-existent and y'all know that's like stressful for me because I don't wear falsies okay so if I don't have no real lashes to work with, I'm in trouble. I said I wanted to start a series on my channel testing out different mascaras, but if you ain't got no lashes for the mascara to hold on to in the first place, it ain't gonna show nothing. <laughs> so, uh, what's the point? Plus, that might be a very boring video anyway. So, anyway, let me know in the comments if you would be interested in seeing that me testing out different mascaras on my lashes. Like, I guess two in a video, one per eye just to kind of see which ones make them thicker, make them longer, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hair clips are out. We're on the home stretch, you guys. <laughs> so, I went nude with my Melt Stacks look on my lips. You know, I was trying to keep it PC, but you know what, I ain't got time for that today, y'all. I want some blue lips, and I'm about to have some blue lips, okay? <laughs> So I'm going in with my Kiss Professional and this is one of their Egoism colors and this is the color Sausalito. So it is blue. <laughs> blue, okay? So that's what we're doing today, y'all. Y'all see that blue? <laughs> I know I'm going to regret it when it's all over my teeth, right? So this is the final look you guys using this ColourPop MAR palette. I must say I like it. I like it a lot. I'm not surprised that I like it because, because of the colors that are in this palette but I really like how it performed as well today. I mean this is a cute little ColourPop palette and it performed very nicely. The pigmentation is nice. I'll just have to see how the stain power is but if it's anything like the usual ColourPop formula. I know I'm gonna like it. It pretty much lasts for me without any problems. So I like it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like this look that I did today and it wasn't uh, too wild with the blue lipstick. Y'all know I had to do it, okay? <laughs> so anywho, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles.